Greetings hobbyists, this is Arts and Zavall, and in this video we're going to talk through a few of the common problems when using Rigify to rig in Blender. So in the last video we talked about how to set up and generate a rig using Rigify for Blender, and what that can do in terms of the movement of a mesh, for example a human model. And in this video I want to talk through three of the common issues that I find people have when using this, and how to really easily solve them. So we've got this human model here, it's the same as the one last time, so if you haven't looked at that video and you're not sure about how to set up a rig in Blender using Rigify, then feel free to watch through that one first, there's a link in the description. But we've got our armature here, and we've got our human that we want to create a rig for. And the first common issue, if we come to our rig, come down to our object data properties and scroll all the way down, and to Rigify, that may be closed for you, is that when we generate a rig, we've generated this teeny tiny rig that's not gonna really do anything to help us. Now there's a reason for this, and that is if we just undo it with Control and Z, that this armature has been scaled up at some point. If I press N on my number pad and go to item, we can see that this has been scaled up. And that means that any rig that we generate is gonna be this many times smaller. So to solve that, all we do is Control and A, apply the scale to our armature and make sure that we've done the same thing for our human base mesh as well, or whatever object you're doing. Then we can come back to our object data properties, click generate rig, and it's gonna be the correct size. Next, we're just gonna go through and do the standard thing. So let's H that, and I'm just going to click here, shift click, control and P, and then parent that with automatic weights. And we'll move on to our second issue, which hopefully I've caused to happen because I've tried to intentionally do this. So I'm gonna click on my rig, go into pose mode. You could do that up here if you don't have machine tools, grab my foot and start moving my foot round and oh, that doesn't look healthy as we're bending our knee in the wrong direction, which is a problem. So we definitely don't want that unless you want some weird mutant man, which you might do. So this could actually show you how to cause that problem as well. And you can get the same issue happening with arms as well when they just bend in the wrong direction. And this is because of our armature. So if I bring back my rig here and look at my legs, my legs are actually pretty much close to perfectly straight. And we don't want that. If this was perfectly straight, then Blender is trying to guess which side the knee is trying to bend. In actual fact, I've set up this rig horribly where actually we've got a slight curve or slight bend here where this angle here, let's just make that a bit bigger so it's obvious, is less than 180 degrees. And Rigify tries to use this to work out what way everything should be bending. So actually because knees don't bend backwards, it's automatically made the assumption that this is the way we want it to bend. So to sort that out, all we need to do, let's go into object mode, is come back to my armature itself. Let's go to the knee. Let's go into edit mode. Select that knee. Notice that I've got mirroring on, so it's going to sort both sides out. I'm actually just going to G that a little bit forward, and I can G that ankle a little bit back. So now we've got a slight bend, meaning that this is the side that's less than 180 degrees. If we come back to our armature here, so into object mode, come to our object data properties and click regenerate rig. It's gonna have recreated our rig here. And if we H to hide this, this, if we go into pose mode, should have reapplied all of our weights. So now I can select this foot G and it's moving as we expect it to be. So really nice that Rigify will sort all of this out and redo the automatic weights. The final issue that I wanted to mention, which is not an issue, it's the way it's set up, but it can be an annoyance, is that if I, let's say G and move that hand, and let's G and move this hand here, and then start moving around this body, so let's just grab that and G here, you'll notice that the hands don't move. So I can R and rotate this as well. You'll notice that the hands remain static. The idea being that we might want to put this on an object, for example, a desk, and then have this move around with the hands keeping in place. And that might not be what we want. We might want to be able to move this and the hands and arms stay in place with the shoulders or the torso. So this is really easy to solve. Just click on your hand and where it has IK parent, and at the moment it's on root, we need to set this to another object. So I'm gonna use the shoulders. So if I click here, come to root, click shoulder. Now if I R to rotate this, that hand is gonna move with it. 
Notice that the other one isn't, so we can come to this hand, do exactly the same thing, but note that because we've moved that, it's now going to automatically move to where it should be in space. So if we want to move back, then click the hand, and then shoulder, we can then R and move both. And at any point, we could come back to a hand and change that back to root, and it's going to go back now that we're not moving with it. But do note that it automatically resets to that place, so this can be a little tedious. So you can change anything around, especially the hands, using this IK parent option, which means that you have a lot more versatility in your Rigify rig. Hopefully that's sorted out some of the common problems that people find when using Rigify and given some quick solutions on how to fix them. As always, if you found that video useful, I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button. It means that YouTube will show it to more people, giving them the solutions to some of these common issues. And if you want to support the channel any further, there is a Patreon page, there's a link in the description, and any people that join up there are hugely appreciated. Have a great day, guys.